If there's one thing we can already say with confidence, it's that 3i Atlas isn't just any visitor. It literally carries the chemistry of another sun in its luggage. The ratio of elements and molecules that make up this comet doesn't match the pattern seen in the icy bodies of our cosmic backyard. It's as if it were carrying an alien fingerprint, a chemical code that points to a birthplace formed under conditions different from those that shaped the comets near Earth. And the closer we look, the more this chemical passport reveals secrets, including one that, at first glance, seems unlikely. 3i Atlas is releasing water into space. Before we move on, if this topic fascinates you, hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications. It helps the channel and lets you know when the next videos are out. Before we get to this steam factory far from the sun, it's worth understanding what the spectra showed. The measurements revealed strong signals of carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide. When this pair shows up in abundance, it usually hints at an extremely cold birth environment regions where water ice didn't accumulate as easily. In other words, 3i Atlas likely formed very far from its parent star, where super volatile compounds stay stable while water doesn't dominate the scene. To top it off, carbonyl sulfide showed up in the analysis, a compound that's rare in local comets. Putting the pieces together, the message is clear. The chemistry of 3i Atlas tells the story of a nebula different from the one that gave rise to our solar system. But the puzzle doesn't stop at molecules. Across different wavelengths, signatures of metals appeared, and in proportions that break from expectations. Nickel and iron are present, as in many small bodies, but the balance between them is what stands out. In general, nature makes much more iron than nickel. Iron is forged in large quantities in supernova explosions, while nickel appears in smaller fractions, typically somewhere between 5% and 10% of the amount of iron. That pattern repeats in stars, meteorites, and comets in our solar system. In 3i Atlas, the scales tip the wrong way. There's more nickel than iron. This inversion breaks the tacit rule we use to understand the formation of smaller bodies and opens up two lines of reasoning. Either we're seeing a rare case of a preserved chemical mix that almost never reaches us, or there are physical processes perhaps tied to prolonged exposure to the interstellar medium that have redistributed the metals unevenly over time. Of course, more exotic theories pop up whenever something doesn't fit our models. But there's no sign this quirk is artificial. A plausible hypothesis puts 3i Atlas's origin in regions of the Milky Way with a distinct chemical history, such as areas associated with the galaxy's thick disk, where the evolution of heavy elements followed a different path than the environment where our sun was born. Another possibility is more hands-on. During its long interstellar crossing, the nucleus surface may have changed, with deep space radiation and wind releasing iron and nickel at different rates, shifting the proportions we see today. In either scenario, the outcome is the same. 3i Atlas has become a rare specimen, a traveling laboratory that broadens our sample set for how chemistry can vary from star to star. Now comes the breath-holding part. Even though it doesn't seem loaded with water like many comets in the solar system, 3i Atlas is venting a surprising amount of vapor and finely grained ice. Estimates point to around 40 kilograms of water vapor per second, a flow comparable to a fire hose running full blast. Even more intriguing is the context. This is happening while the comet is still relatively far from the sun, a zone where most local comets tend to snooze, waiting for more heat before they kick into gear. If activity is strong anyway, it's because mechanisms are at play that don't depend solely on direct heating of an ice-rich surface. How do we measure this steam factory from so many astronomical units away? The trick was to observe the ultraviolet glow of hydroxyl, a daughter molecule of water. When sunlight breaks H2O apart, some of that water becomes OH, which shines with a specific signature. By stacking dozens of short exposures, like layering the same photo to tease out hidden detail, Astronomers were able to detect this chemical mark clearly. From there, they derived the water production rate and reached another equally surprising conclusion. At least 8% of 3i Atlas's surface is active. For comparison, comets in our solar system usually run with something between 3% and 5% of their area really on at any given time. That's a lot for a visitor from so far away. But where does so much water come from if the surface shouldn't be warm enough? The best explanation is elegant. The activity isn't born directly from the nucleus. 
but from a cloud of icy debris surrounding the comet. These are fragments, flakes, and grains that detached from the main body and remained in temporary orbit around it. Smaller and more exposed, these bits heat up quickly under sunlight and act like tiny valves. They release vapor as soon as a thin layer of ice begins to sublimate. That's why 3i Atlas can glow and vent water even where many dormant comets would still wait a few million kilometers to wake up. In practice, the comet wraps itself in a constantly changing atmosphere, a dynamic, granular coma made of ice that melts and refreezes in a rapid cycle driven by solar radiation. This chemical and physical personality contrasts with other interstellar visitors we've observed, which showed little or no water-related activity. 3i Atlas, by contrast, seems to have protected respectable amounts of ice since its cosmic childhood, ice that could be older than Earth itself. That makes its visit a rare opportunity to compare another system's chemical kitchen with our own and investigate how common or variable the building blocks we use to think about life are water among them across the galaxy. There's another message embedded in this far from the sun activity. 3i Atlas is rich in extremely volatile materials, exactly the kind of stuff that stays stable in the deep cold of a protoplanetary disk. When those volatiles face the sun's radiation, they react vigorously and the comet becomes a generous source of gas and dust. Since it entered the solar system, it has likely shed tons of ice, feeding an extended coma that scatters and reflects sunlight. Through a modest telescope, it presents the typical cometary haze, a diffuse glow that betrays activity. But in this case, the power plant switched on earlier than usual. This behavior has interesting implications. If an interstellar comet can inject this much water into space even far from the sun, how many others pass by in a silent mode, giving off subtle signals that only show up when we analyze patiently, stacking dozens of images? It's possible there's a population of visitors with partially active cold comae that don't show up on our radar simply because we're expecting the kind of spectacle local comets only put on when they plunge into the inner solar system. In practical terms, 3i Atlas forces us to refine our observing strategies and adjust the models that link composition, distance from the sun, and activity strength. Notice how all the pieces fit together. The unusual chemistry, CO2 and CO standing out, OCS present, nickel in excess relative to iron, suggests a very cold birthplace and a galactic chemical history distinct from ours. The physics of the activity, 40 kilograms of water per second, 8% of the surface on, icy debris acting as valves, explains why it's active in regions where we'd expect calm. And the big picture, loss of tons of ice, a bright coma, comparisons with other visitors, casts 3i Atlas as a messenger. It carries clues about how other systems build their comets, and by extension, just how diverse the recipe can be for the raw materials that eventually form planets and, perhaps, life. In the end, 3i Atlas is a graceful reminder that the solar system isn't the yardstick of the universe. When we open the door to objects that come from afar, we need to be ready for patterns that don't line up with ours. Science grows right there, in the exceptions that challenge easy explanations. Maybe a few years from now, with more identified visitors and even more sensitive instruments, we'll be able to sketch a chemical map of the galaxy linking molecular signatures to specific regions of the Milky Way's disk. For now, every gram of water that 3i Atlas releases, every ultraviolet photon from hydroxyl we detect, every oddly proportioned metal we measure, each of these adds to a portrait in progress. A portrait that shows, in no uncertain terms, that our way of forming comets is just one among many. And if this story left your head spinning, like a coma warmed by the sun, great! That's a sign your curiosity is working. Want to keep traveling through other worlds and space mysteries? Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.